Hey guys, uh, my name is Tyler Jacobson, and uh, I guess what I'm going to be doing today is uh, well, this morning, very early morning, is I'm just going to really be rambling, you know, about how I feel and all that other thing. Yeah, so you can interpret it, uh, what I say any way you want to, but I'm hoping it sheds light on anyone dealing with what I'm constantly dealing with. <sighs> Today it's been uh, seven months, two weeks, and four days since my twin brother passed away in a car accident. You know, people say uh, it, it gets better over time, but uh, yeah, that's a bunch of horseshit. It doesn't get better. It just gets easier to deal with. You know, some days I'm fine. I can talk about it. I can joke about it almost. And that kills me a bit inside. You know, I just have to show a good face, especially considering what I do as a job. I'll be around people all the time. Yeah, other days I can barely even get out of bed. You know, small things. Small things will set you off. You'll be fine one day and you'll be listening to the radio and a song will come on. It just remind you so much of your brother or in my case brother, but maybe in your case it could be a sibling, could be a parent, could be a friend, just be, just a loved one in general. Uh, even, a f even a famous person that you never know you just were a big fan of. Um, yeah, for me, like the most obvious would be seeing twins together, you know, just because the bond that they share. I mean, but like I said, it can be anything. I mean, like, for instance, I saw a guy, you know, giving a speech at his brother's wedding, and yeah, that set me off. I had to get away. I was seeing like a fender bender, like in the car, or even like, you know, driving a little bit fast. Yeah, you know, suddenly thoughts start going about you know how he died and was he speeding, you know, all that type of thing, and you know have to pull over side of the road. Worse though, like especially you know the brief moments in the morning when you wake up and for a split second you know you've, I've had a dream about him, you know he's not dead, in my dream and that type of thing, and it's that brief moment that you, you know, think, oh, okay, it's just just a bad dream. And you know, and then half sleep stay. I pick up my phone, you know, give him a call just to see how he is, and uh, I call his number and it goes straight to voicemail. And like you think, okay, maybe I'll try it again. I'll never really do it the second time, and it just hits you. Um, yeah, I know I should mention in the, uh, earlier in the video. My brother's name was Josh. Yeah, fucking sucks. Um, okay, let's try and make a little more sense out of this. Um, for me, the best way I can equate like losing someone to, to some like losing someone you care about to anyone who actually hasn't is fortunate enough not to have lost someone uh, is having like an open wound. You know, it's there, it's gashed, it's bleeding, it's horrible, it's painful. Uh, you know, but you'll go to the doctor and you get that wound stitched up, and after a week, two weeks, it just come out, you know, because the wound's now closed, maybe horrible, still sores or hell, but it heals. I mean, apart from the occasional flare-up, it just keeps healing and healing and healing. Um, and even though, yeah, it'll flare up randomly and it's just quick for no reason half the time, um, it eventually starts fading away. Um, never, never goes away, though. It's always there, you know, like a, it's a constant, often painful reminder, you know, of what happened, you know, idiocy or just, you know, accident or just a memory or whatever. But you learn to live with it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this actually makes much sense to any of people listening. But then again, you know, this video is just me rambling. So it wasn't meant to have any sort of structure. Anyway, we'll see if I carry this on, if it helps. If it helps anyone, just leave a comment. I'd just like to know, you know, if I'm actually, you know, if it helps. Anyway, cool. I'm going to try, now like, quarter past three in the morning, I'm going to try and go back to sleep. Okay, cool. Peace.